Oh. Got it that way. <laughs> Both of them. Oh. Got it. <clears throat> oh, wait, that's... <laughs> That's what I was looking for. That was worth the trip up right there. Okay, so we have Andrew here today. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Um, where do you live and why are you up here in New York? Uh, I live in South Florida. Um, visiting family up here in New York this week and mm -hmm. I'm following you on YouTube for a couple years. Finally had the chance to be up here visiting family and was able to make an appointment to get into it. Good, I thank you for coming in. Tell us a little bit about your background. Um, he's, uh, you know, originally spent many years, over 10 years in the army, right? So what was, what was your major injury that you still have to deal with? So in uh, 2012, well, I was deployed to Afghanistan, had a RPG, class, uh, RPG blast. Happened in a very close vicinity of me. Snapped my head over to the left side and felt like I got hit with a baseball bat. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, the, the right side of my body hasn't been the same, all the way, neck all the way down through the hip. Um, what are some of the pain spots you feel? Um, the skull goes into my neck, the trap, shoulder feels jammed in, kind of impinged, and mm -hmm. um, same thing for my, for my right hip, also okay. feels you know, jammed in there. And so that happened in what year? 2012. So 10 years ago. So you've yeah. been feeling, you still feel it 10 years later. Yeah, still feel yeah. it. How far away do you think the, the RPG hit to where you were standing or sitting or moving? It was up good uh, five feet. Five feet. Caught shrapnel to the right side of the head. And it blasted and, uh, you from right to left? Yeah, right to left. So your head uh, went, may I touch? Yes. So your head went this way, yeah. right? Okay. Yep. Um, and you feel more of the pain on the right side? Yeah. The yeah, left side is feeling now just like a constant throbbing mm -hmm. pain. Were you knocked unconscious, or what do you? What did they tell you, or what do you remember of of the moments after the uh, the blast? Uh, yeah, went unconscious for a couple seconds. Went mm -hmm. completely black. When it came to, was just completely out of it. A little bit trouble balancing. Mm -hmm. Even ended up firing off a couple rounds. Uh, my buddies told me I just went really had no way, no idea where I was and. It's kind of just like a movie, everything just zoomed right back into focus as we were still engaged in a firefight and uh, mm -hmm. the adrenaline just kept me going through until the engagement ended and we returned back to our fob and then that's when I started feeling all the, the after effects of it. Just completely out of it, extremely drained, um, I, mean, I slept for quite a bit after it and we were so far out there, um, all we really had was just um, some soda and everything from one of my medics to try and bring like my sugar levels up to try and get like a good feeling back. But it was uh, been a roller coaster ride since then. You didn't really have a medical station set up. No, we just had our our, our platoon medic with us, and that was pretty much what we had to roll with. So they gave you a can of Coke. <laughs> it, 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 it was it was a it was an eight ounce can of Coke. Yeah. So like here uh, we have no medicine, but here take this. Yeah, you know. Just, how long? How many days do you think went by before you got back to a proper area where you could get some medical um, analysis or a medical um, evaluation? Probably a few months. Like I said, that happened early June. And then by the time I got back to the States was August. And yeah. then I just, being young, I was about 22 at the time. It was just kind of just keep push through, push through. We didn't want to, um, you know, didn't really want to say anything was too wrong with me because you don't. Just don't go that route down in the the infantry side of things. Yeah. And then it just kept getting progressively worse, and that's finally when I spoke up about it. When I was just randomly losing balance at times, you know, mm -hmm. massive headaches. So I would say probably by the time I really started getting seen about it, it was probably almost in like the four to five month range. Okay. Now, do you still lose your balance sometimes, or is that kind of better? Uh, that's that's a lot better. I went through a couple rounds of vestibular therapy with the VA that mm -hmm. that helped out quite a bit. And okay. Just from over the years of dealing with it, I've kind of learned the do and don'ts of mm -hmm. it. So, how about moving? Um, let's here. You you face forward, okay. and I'm going to take your good side. Turn your okay. palm up, and yeah, and that's, that's it's really not an issue. The outside's fine. Yeah, and I'm just looking at a few things before we move to a different part of the room. Yeah, like that definitely. That good feel. gets very tight right about there. Yeah. So you you fly up nicely to ninety degrees, mm -hmm. then you keep going nicely, and then right around here it gets very stiff. Do you agree? Yes. So do it yourself this time. 
And um, you stop where you feel like it's locking up. Just do that one okay. side on the right. Yeah, like I start to feel it yeah, pretty much at that 90 degree mark. Right, it, it gets bogged down, down, right? It mm -hmm. gets, it's thick, it won't, won't fly yeah, up. That, like, and it almost feels like the shoulder's a little yeah, bit it's forward. forward. Yeah, let's see the other side now and do it yourself. Yeah, this one rolls back beautifully yeah. and does what it should do as a functioning shoulder. And bring it all the way up now. So that, that acts correctly. Yeah. This one's not acting correctly. Yeah. And by here, you have to do something weird to make it go the Yeah, and then when I get to here, I kind of felt like the yeah, you, extra push. Yeah, you, you lift up. Mm -hmm. The human body will figure out a way to get the job done, but um, we already see dysfunction on the range of motion. That's just one little range of motion test. It doesn't say the whole picture, but I just wanted to get a snapshot of some stuff. Uh, let's do something else. Put your arm out to the side and make it stronger. There you go. So now I'm going to... Uh, push down on your head and hold your arm it's much harder to hold it right and it goes weak yeah because i'm pinching the nerve there so if i bring it this way it should open the nerve hold and the arm stays strong if i go back and to the right it, cr oh, yeah. it, it crimps it right and, mm -hmm. and it sabotages the power to any of the skeletal muscles that we're testing and it just gives me again a little snapshot a window into a, a little bit of what's dysfunctioning um, so let's get started. We're going to get you on the table and we'll do some nice work on you today, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, so we're going to go under the skull here and tell me if you feel some of these spots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, even worse. It's getting worse. Yeah. Here you go. So is it okay if I kind of leverage with your head here? Can I hold here? Mm -hmm. All right. Did you play sports growing up? Were you into sports as a kid? No, nah, not too much. Yeah. Oh. Now, did you grow up in Florida or were you more from uh, the New York, Long Island area? No, grew up in Long Island. Okay. So you're a dad of a, you said two girls, right? Yep. How old are they? Five and three. Aw. And what are their names? Their first names? Uh, Mina and Alina. Say it again? Mina and Alina. Mina and Alina. That's great names. Mm -hmm. So maybe one day they'll watch this video. Oh, they, they definitely will. So let me say hello. Hi, <laughs> Mina. Hi, Alina. Thanks for letting me work with your dad today. Did they come up with you to uh, visit family? Or are yeah. they back home? No, they're here. They're, oh. at, they're at Grandma's house. Oh, good, good. So I'm, I'm working these muscles pretty strong. Would you agree? Oh, y yes. <laughs> so I haven't... This is more... There it goes. It cracked a little. Yep. Do you hear? Mm-hmm. I'm doing more soft tissue work here, which means muscles, ligaments, tendons. Have you had this type of work done much before or not really? No. The other chiropractor didn't do this, right? They didn't no, dig not. this out. Nope. Right in there. Now, oh, my man. thumb is going through his trap, so you might be able to see this if the camera comes around. And my, um, here's his collarbone right here. So I'm actually in the thoracic outlet. So I'm between the collarbone and the first rib, and that should be horrible. Oh, yeah. It feels like it's actually about to start to release, maybe. Yeah. I got two thumbs in there now. I'm pretty much about half an inch from the apex of his lung, which is the, the top part of his right lung. That's how deep I'm in now. Man, <laughs> that was intense. So I'm in this area. So here's his collarbone. 
here's this first rib down here. So I'm going into here and going inside here to get this muscle. You can see my, my finger is totally buried. I'm inside there. He's pretty tough too, because this is horrible. Turn this way. That kills, right? Yeah. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to lift this collarbone up, okay? Try that arm now, same way with the palm up, take it up. A oh, yeah. lot better. It's getting there, right? Yeah. The shoulder's still coming forward, so we gotta hit this back here now. So he's got, to turn this way now, he's got some horrible stuff in the, where the lat comes up, and it's back here. And you've had a little bit of atrophy back here too. He's really strong, he's got a big back, but you have that scar here, what's that from? I have no idea. This one here, oh that's oh, just from weightlifting? Just the, yeah. Yeah, okay, so, I that, think it's about that. so that's just a stretch mark from weightlifting. But do you feel this spot right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this one has been bad for a while. That's nasty too, right? Yeah. Now you're gonna push your arm down a little bit, okay? okay? Just enough to give me resistance. Okay, push. Good. And again, push. Oh, right there. Now try your arm. Oh yeah. It's getting there, right? Yep. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna have you do is uh, lie on your back, please. So you'll be face up again. And I think I'm going to do a, a supine occiput lift. So come around this way. I'll get this chair out of your way. So your trips. And here, if you see my legs, uh, I'm going to get a lot of leverage on this because I'm in like an athletic position. Now we'll move up in here. And I'm going to try to take this spot that he pointed out to me and I've been working and lift it off this way. Big breath in and blow it out. No. Nope. Can't get it that way. Oh. Got it that way. <laughs> so that one's been stuck for a while, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man, that feels good. That was a good one, right? Yeah. I don't think I've ever gotten it a really <laughs> release like that up there before. Yeah, so I had to try to get underneath and up. There's easier ways to crack things, but that's the one that needed it the most. It's not just um, getting anything to crack, it's getting the right one to crack. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start with the towel, then I'm going to move to the Y strap, okay? Mm -hmm. So lift your head up a little bit, drop your head down. First, I'm going to take the little bit of slack out of the table. So big breath in and blow it out. <clears throat> Ooh. Where'd you I feel that good. one? I felt it up in the same spot, but on the, the left side a little Perfect. bit more. Perfect. 
All right, stay there. We're switching up. Was that pretty cool though? Yeah, no, my, my trap and shoulder feels looser too already. Good. Pick your head up, drop your head. Big breath in and blow it out. <clears throat> One more, big breath in and blow it out. Do you get a little more? Yeah. Why do you feel different on that one? The other ones felt like a little bit more of a sharp pop. Those, I don't know, felt like maybe more of like a crunch stretch. Okay. That makes sense. I felt that definitely right more in that area. And it felt good on my legs too, actually stretching out. Yeah. Oh. Do you hear that pop? <laughs> yeah. Both of them. Now come down a lot towards your feet and drop your head down. Open your mouth just a centimeter. Now try your jaw. Yeah, my, that stuffiness that I've mm -hmm. had in my right ear is it's, it's going away too. Good. So now we're going to come into here. Oh, get some more. We want to get all this shit out. Oh, yeah. There's Ooh. another one. I want to see if I can do a little here too. There, you hear that crack? <laughs> yeah. So this is going to be over here. This is going to be on your belly. And leave your hand up here if you can, okay? Because I'm going to sneak my hand under here. Get in here like this. And set that. Did you feel a pop? Mm hmm. Line your side facing me this way now. Turn, turn, turn. Bring this up like this. Let this fall. <coughs> Good. Come to the other side. Got it. That was a good pop, right? Oh, yeah. Good. So lie face down now. Lie your side facing this way. You can put your hand right here. Right. 
You kill that, right? Oh, yeah. Right in there. Right in there. Oh. All right, stand up and walk around. Man. Yeah, it feels loose. <laughs> feels comfy. <laughs> you know, even after I throw all that, that beaten in there. Yeah. I give him beaten. Uh, feel, that feels <laughs> good. That feels good in there. Yeah. How does your neck feel? Uh, it, that feels great. Yeah. Like I feel like a little taller, more upright. Like my arms hanging down a bit So move your, move your arms now. Yeah, that's a little better, right? Yeah. No pulling or anything on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the hips good. feel a little good. Can you go yeah. into a squat? Yeah. You have good range yeah, of motion. Yeah. Alright, we're going to do the cranial facial release. So, so you're going to line your back. Now there's nothing easy about this. It's fast. That's the good thing. Alright, so this is Floppy. It was my daughter's when she was a baby and that was 26 years ago. So Floppy's been around for a while. But it's the perfect thing to squeeze onto. All right. And I think your daughters will like that you got to see Floppy. Oh, I'm sure they will. And they're going to wish they saw Floppy. Mm. But at least we're going to start on the left side, because your right side's the bad side. Mm -hmm. Once I have this place, I'm gonna ask you to take a big breath in and hold it, it'll look like this. <gasps> and okay. I wanna see the mouth open, so try one. <gasps> and that's it, and it'll be over so fast, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do the uh, left side first. I'm gonna push it all the way back. And whenever you're ready, you take a big breath in and close, close your mouth. <gasps> oh, man. <laughs> Ooh. Did you hear cracks and pops? Yep. What else? Every couple, notice? just it just my left side feels a lot more open than the right now, and I don't know. Kind of had a feeling like if you get uh, you're in a pool and get water up your nose and it, yeah, that that's slight that's burn would then clear out. Yeah, that's what people say. Yeah, I was not uh, expecting it to be that intense, but all right. So we're gonna do the right side. Ready? Mm -hmm. Whenever you're ready. <gasps> Oh, wait, that's. <laughs> oh. What'd you notice on that one? That was a whole lot of cracking in there. Yeah, I heard oh, cracking. Yeah. I could hear it through oh. your face. Usually I don't hear the cracking. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what I was looking for. That was worth the trip up right there. The right side makes some cracks. <laughs> yeah, that was. I was looking for that. Yeah. Um, there are 22 movable bones in the face and the skull combined, and they make up to 64 different joints and um, they can all have the ability to move and expand and shift a little bit. Mm -hmm. And if you got any trauma to the head, which you did really mm -hmm. bad, yeah. um, they can get stuck, they can shift. And so this is just a great way to release and open them. Yeah. And well, it's, it's crazy, great. it's yeah. crazy, <laughs> but it's kind of cool too, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No, that was, Breathe in that was now, great. so what it feels like just to get air through there. That feels good. Yeah. Anything else you experienced or mostly just like I just rocked your world? You just, <laughs> just rocked my world. That yeah. was, was great. Okay. Was what were some of your favorite parts today, do you think? Um, I think a lot of it takes a lot for me to kind of loosen up and relax. So mm -hmm. I think a lot of you hit me with the like surprise moves and manipulations. That mm -hmm. was, that gave a lot of, I wasn't expecting it. So it was, you know, okay. it was able to get me, but that, that felt great. I all mean, right. obviously digging all in up here my trap and stuff was extremely painful but now it's yeah feels great if you were in the area i would say come in a couple of times oh, yeah. but so next time you're up visiting your family come on in no, i will be and thank you for your service i know you've Appreciate been through it. a lot and i respect what you've you know your journey has been pretty amazing uh yeah. leave andrew a nice supportive comment uh if you can and um encourage him to feel better thank you thank you well, that was awesome you're the best man <laughs> that was great you're a really nice guy <laughs> Oh.
Oh. Got it that way. <laughs> oh. Some more. <laughs> 